Morning, everybody. Eugene Bear here with his green cup of coffee. I'm going to bring to you today the most important place in all of the New Testament. And it's only three verses. And I've been studying 43 years to come to this truth. I knew it many years ago. Didn't know the strength and the value of it in spirit. So if you have time, please listen to this whole teaching. I'll try to come in at eight minutes or less, but most of the time they run ten. We're going to Colossians, the four-chapter book. When you read at the end of Colossians, it tells you to read the Laodicean letter and Colossians together. And the Laodicean letter is the circulation letter. So therefore, Ephesians and Laodicea are the same letter. So today, 2,000 years later, we can read Colossians and Laodicean letter together, study it together, back and forth, because the Laodicean letter is the Ephesian letter. We're going to Colossians 2 or 1, 25. Chapter 1, 25th verse. And I read and make a couple of points. Whereof I am made a minister. This is Paul speaking, but I was made a minister too at the age of 30, 43 years ago. Whereof I am made a minister according to King James says dispensation. The better word is stewardship. You can study stewardship throughout the Bible. The dispensation of God, which was given unto me for you, saint sons, believers, born again of the Spirit, saint sons, for you, saint sons, to fulfill the word of God. That was Paul's job, to write, so when you read, you may understand his knowledge in the mystery. I'm going to show you something real quick. Try not to teach too long on it. Don't throw out the mystery with the gospel. The mystery, the gospel. The mystery into Christ, hope of glory. The gospel, the good news, peace unto glory. All right? And there's the bottom down there. I'd have to look at it before I teach it. Point being, at the end of Ephesians, it says the mystery, the gospel. Well, what is the mystery and what is the gospel? Gospel is also called good news. Also, peace and rest for the saint sons that end up in eternal life, spelt with three E's, not A-L, but E-L, because that's the first title of God, L, eternal life, the hope of eternal life, immortality. Your spirit soul, which is one connected, goes to its new spirit being light body. So the real you that's in your mind heart, where your conscience, memory, emotion, free will is, the real you, spirit soul, goes on. You lay down your human body, spirit, soul, the real you goes on. I read, continue to read. <clears throat> Colossians 1.26, even the mystery, Rotherham says sacred secret, and some translations say even the secret. Even the mystery, the sacred secret, which hath been hidden from generations, plural, and from generations, but now is made manifest to his saints or saint sons, placed and mature, placed, 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 not adopted. Study that Greek word. It's made up of two words, a placing, a son. Reverse it, a son, a placing. Saint sons, son saints, placed. It's an important misguiding adoption, misguides the truth. All 
right. <clears throat> I read on. From ages and generations, but now today, right now as I speak, is made manifest to his saints, sons, to whom God would make known the mystery, all right, what is the riches of the glory of this mystery. Now in this one verse, in verse 27, what is the true witness? What do we find twice here? Okay, let me back up and read every one of the words of First Colossians, or Colossians 127. All right, here we go, 127. To whom God would make known what is the riches of the glory of this mystery among the Gentiles, you and I, no more Jew, no more Greek. It's all humanity born of the Spirit, if you're born of the Spirit, if you have Christ in you. If you don't, you're none of his. Romans 8, 9 through 11. If you don't know, if you have the Spirit of Christ in you, there's a possibility you're none of his. So get the Spirit of Christ in you. Ask him in. Open your heart. Invite him in. Love the Word. Love the Spirit. I am the Spirit truth teacher. Okay. The riches of the glory of this mystery among the Gentiles, which is Christ in or into you. Christ in or into you. Christ in you, the hope of glory. ka -ching. Now, if we use 26 and 27 together, mystery's there twice for a true witness. If we just use verse 27, glory is there twice for a true witness. That's what the bottom of this whiteboard is all about. This blurted out of my mouth in a Bible study one day. Can I get back far enough? Can you see it or read it? All right? It started in glory. It's going to end in glory. Glorious and glorified in eternal, E-L, life. Immortality and eternal life. That is our hope. Hope of the resurrection. Part one. Early out, made alive now, your mortal body quickened. All saved saint sons indwelt by Christ are in a status or a state of early out resurrection, patiently awaiting his return in the air, in the clouds, where we go to meet him and be joint heirs with him, go with him and behold his glory in glory. Think about that one. Only eight minutes. So my point being, there is a gospel, there is good news, it is connected to peace and rest that you can only find in the word and the spirit of God, but it also speaks of the mystery of the gospel, which is Christ in you. Do not jump, do not throw out the mystery. The mystery and the gospel are connected, and that's where the majority of Christianity is going wrong teaching and preaching everything in everybody's uh, book they've written, stay in the Bible, the one holy book that the Spirit wrote. And it will, and there will be no, uh, what is the word? Oh, shoot, I can't remember the word. Oh, darn. God is specific and clear, and truth is found in repetition. All right? It's not implied. I don't like the word implied. Well, it's implied here. God, not as an, God is not an implying God. He is a love, truth God, and truth is found in twos and threes and fours in his holy word. Love you. Bernie Bear here. Colossians 125, 126, and 127. The three most important verses in all of the New Testament. Bye.